Hey there, I just wanted to jump on the channel really quickly and share with you all the fireworks watching opportunities that are available in the greater Chattanooga area this weekend. Did you know that the city of Philadelphia used fireworks July 4th, 1777 to celebrate the one year anniversary of the Declaration of Independence? They surely did. And here in the greater Chattanooga area, we continue that tradition some 245 years later. Now, most of these events are free. However, some will charge an admission fee. Now, in this video, I'm also gonna share with you some tips on where to park especially in downtown Chattanooga, because when there are large crowds, parking can be a challenge. Now, of course, if you celebrate the 4th of July, you may have fireworks at your home or perhaps attend a party at a neighbor's house where they have fireworks. Just a friendly reminder to pay attention to firework safety, especially when it comes to young children and pets. The first opportunity you'll have this weekend to watch fireworks in the greater Chattanooga area will be at a Chattanooga Lookouts game. Now the Looks are playing the Birmingham Barons this weekend and on July 1st and 2nd the games begin at 7.15 p.m. while the game on Sunday begins at 6.15 p.m. Fireworks will occur after each game about 9.45 p.m. And if you watch CW's hit show All American, you'll want to attend Saturday July 2nd because Chattanooga native Hunter Cloudus will throw the first pitch. When it comes to parking for the Lookouts game, I would suggest parking at the north side of AT&T Field and then just walk up the street. However, if you need handicap accessible parking, I would get off of West 3rd Street because there are some handicap accessible parking available there right in front of the gate. Now, the best way to get tickets, in my opinion, is to go to milb.com backslash Chattanooga, and there you can order tickets online. Now, lower box seats are $11, upper box seats are $13, although you can purchase tickets at the gate. Now the second opportunity you'll have to watch fireworks this 4th of July weekend in the greater Chattanooga area is by attending Pops on the River. Pops on the River is a free event held in Coolidge Park and this year it will occur on July 2nd beginning at 5.30 p.m. Now food and beverages can be purchased at the event but you're certainly free to bring a picnic basket if you wish. Again, this is a free event. The Chattanooga Symphony and Opera will be performing patriotic music and please be advised that the park does not allow pets so be sure to leave Fido at home. Also, they're forecasting 90 degree temperatures, so you may want to dress appropriately. As I mentioned, the event will be held in Coolidge Park, and typically I would suggest that you park at the large parking lot right across from Chattanooga Theater Center, but that whole area is gonna be closed off beginning at 4.30 the day of the event. However, the drop-off point uh, for the shuttle service is going to be located right there at the Chattanooga Theater Center. Now, shuttle service parking to the event will be located at 451 Lookout Street on the south side of the river, and that's gonna cost $10 and run from 5 to 11 p.m., but that might be a really great option as opposed to scrambling for parking on North Shore. The third opportunity to watch fireworks in the greater Chattanooga area the 4th of July weekend is Saudi Daisy's Independence Day celebration which will be held July 2nd from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now this is also a free event. It lasts all day. They'll have a car show and food vendors and tons of fun for families and kids. Fireworks will begin at 9.45 and conclude about 10 o'clock. And the fourth opportunity to watch fireworks this 4th of July weekend in the Greater Chattanooga area is in the city of Chickamauga, Georgia. Chickamauga is partnering once again with the Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union, and their event will be held also on July 2nd, beginning at 4 o'clock p.m. and ending at 10.30 p.m. Fireworks will occur at 9.45 p.m. This event will also feature live music, crafts, and food and beverages for purchase. If you want to find the location using an app, just plug in 200 Gordon Street, Chickamauga, Georgia. The fifth opportunity to watch fireworks this 4th of July weekend in the Greater Chattanooga area is the Catoosa County Fireworks Fest that will also occur July 2nd from 1 to 9.30 p.m. Now this is also a free event. It will occur at the Northwest Georgia Amphitheater. Just plug in to Catoosa Circle. Now this event will also include food and beverages for purchase, live music, crafts, plenty of fun for kids, and the fireworks will go off about 9.30. The sixth opportunity to watch fireworks this 4th of July weekend in the greater Chattanooga area will occur in the city of Collegedale, Tennessee. Collegedale will host its annual Freedom Celebration Sunday, July 3rd from 4 to 10 p.m. The event will be held in the Commons 4915 Swinyard Drive. This is also a free event that will feature food vendors, live music, a petting zoo for kids, and the fireworks should begin about 9.30. The seventh opportunity to watch fireworks this 4th of July weekend in the Greater Chattanooga area is by attending Lake Winnie. Lake Winnipesoka is a popular amusement park in the Greater Chattanooga area. Located in Rossville, Georgia, it has roller coasters, a Sokia water park, and many other rides that both adults and children will enjoy. And for more information on times and ticket prices, log on to lakewinnie.com. 
And finally, the eighth opportunity you have for watching fireworks this 4th of July weekend in the greater Chattanooga area is at the Macklemore. The event will occur at 4 p.m. July 4th at the Macklemore Club, 32 Clubhouse Lane. The event will feature a miniature golf tournament, live music, a flag hunt for kids, and dinner. For tickets, log on to Macklemore's website or eventbrite.com. Want to know what the pros and cons are of living in the greater Chattanooga area? Watch this video next. Thank you.